So in this video, we're going to talk about the Towers of Hanoi, which is a classic problem, uh, which is basically just n blocks, or in this case, we have three blocks on one peg, and or disks. We have three disks on one peg, and we want to move all three disks to another peg. But the thing is, you can only move one disk at a time, and you cannot move a larger disk on top of a disk that's smaller than it. So for example, for this problem of n equals 3, right, we want to move the smallest disk first, and then for our second move, we're going to move, leave the bottom disk the same, keep the smaller disk here, move the medium disk to the third peg, then move the small disk on top of the medium disk, Right? Then we can move the big disk over. Then the smaller disk can move over to this far peg over here. Then we can move the medium disk onto the one in the center. And then finally, right, we can move that third oops. That third disk back on top here in the middle. And so that took us what if this is move one two, three, four, five, six, seven. That took us seven moves, right? Um, and so we want to write a recurrence relation that will tell us how many moves it should take for four disks, right? Based on how many moves three disks took. So let's think as this of this bottom disk as the nth disk and it having n minus one disks on top of it, right? Well, if we already know the term that comes before, we know s sub n minus 1 is the number of moves uh, to move n minus 1 disks, right? So to move the n minus 1 disks over to here, that's going to be s sub n minus 1 moves, right? Then this bottom disk will be uncovered, so it'll take one move to move it over to here, and then to move these disks back on top of it, we know that's going to take s sub n minus 1 moves, right? And so let me go over uh, that one more time, just in case you didn't quite follow that, right? s sub n minus 1 is the n minus 1 term, right? And that's the number of mo moves to move n minus 1 disks to another post. So we're going to use those n minus 1 moves to uncover the bottom disk. Then we're going to move one, use one move to move the bottom disk. And then we're going to use another s sub n minus 1 moves to move the n minus 1 disks back on top of the nth disk. Right? So that tells us that our s sub nth uh, term, right, to the amount of moves it's going to take to move n disks is just s sub n minus 1 plus 1 plus s sub n minus 1, which is just 2 s sub n minus 1 plus 1, right? Because we can add these together. So that is the recurrence relation uh, for the towers of Hanoi uh, with the initial condition. And don't forget, this is a two-piece thing. So we need an initial condition, right? And so the question is, how many moves will it take to just move one disk to another post, and that would just take one move. So we're going to couple with this with the initial condition that s sub 1 equals 1, and that is the recurrence relation for the Towers of Hanoi. So in the next video, we're going to find a way to find a closed form solution for this. Basically, s sub n, not in terms of any previous terms, only in terms of n, so that if we want to find the fourth term, we can just uh, plug in 4 and find out how many moves it would take to move four disks.